Today we're going to take a look at the Silverfire Survival Stove. Uh, Silverfire makes a number of different type stoves. Uh, this particular one uh, really burns mainly biomass. I mean, it's small particles, just things you find out in the in the yards or in the woods. It's very efficient and uh, it puts out very little smoke, but it's very well built. This is a rocket stove design, and uh, we're going to take a look at some of the details. And this video is brought to you in part by the Sportsman's Guide. Get $20 off using Sooch in the coupon code on a $100 purchase. Now, there are a lot of different rocket stoves out on the market. Uh, this is a really high quality, very efficient stove. And one of the big things this stove does is it has a stainless steel body all the way around. So this is rolled stainless. It's going to hold up well. It has a cast iron top. And this is solid with five different points to be able to put, you know, whatever cooking pot you're putting on here. Uh, you can put a fairly large pot because of the way this is designed. Another thing that's really unique about this stove is these handles. And you can see that they're long. Uh, when it comes, you need to attach the handles. It's not a big deal at all. But here you can see that it rises above the cast iron piece. So you can pick this up even when it's hot without burning your hands. And so that's a really cool feature just in itself because a lot of these stoves, the handles are low and you can really burn yourself. It also features this door that actually closes. Uh, and really they recommend that you keep this door closed while you're cooking or while you're heating your stove. Uh, but you can lift it up, it sets like this, and then we have a shelf. Here you have a little lip that fits in this little channel. Lock it down, and then you've got a very stable platform. It is stainless, but the really cool thing again, and I just brought it out, but when you want to stow this away, you place it in here, and then you can just close the lid. Now the door does have this little silver fire emblem, but this is so you can use it to test what kind of size wood you need to use. So I can take the wood, I can check it, and as long as it will fit in here, that is what this stove is designed for. But you can use larger wood. Uh, but to make it more efficient, using just this size wood will do about any task. Also, you can take this piece and just lift it up with a piece of wood. Here the cast iron top looks nice with the five risers. Gives you a lot of stability with your pot. But also, if you look down into the stove, uh, this is where debris falls down into those little slots. And so really, you're just getting a lot of ash down there. Everything else is burning off. And we'll take a look at that once we get the fire complete. Now there are four screws that attach the cast iron top and uh, we've already removed those. Uh, I wanted to show you this insulation material. A lot of these rocket stoves have clay and the clay can break. It can break down and turn into dust. It's a lot heavier. Uh, in fact, it's twice as heavy as the material they're using here. And this is rock mineral wool insulation. Uh, I think at first they used perlite in here. Uh, but they found that this just holds up really well. It really keeps the stove insulated, obviously. <laughs> then the fire and the flames coming up, it's going to be able to retain that heat all the way around. So again, this is a very efficient system. Now you'll notice the underneath has slots, and this also allows for airflow to come up under the stove. And then we have these little small nubs at the bottom. Uh, you can set this on even a wooden table or a picnic table, things like that, and you don't have to worry about it burning the surface. Uh, so this actually remains a lot cooler than the rest of the stove. Now when it comes to the fuel you're going to use, of course sticks really are the a long burning, but you can also use pine cones. Uh, this is some dried up mushroom. Uh, we have leaves. Anything that's out in the yard, of course paper. And that's really the big plus for this stove, is you can use all kind of different things without having to go out and search for dedicated firewood. This stove burns better with this kind of stuff. So it makes it very efficient. And again, it turns into just ash. And you know, that makes it more efficient. If you have ash instead of embers and pieces and chunks, you're just burning off all the material. And it's not creating a lot of emissions. And for that matter, smoke. To get things started, we're gonna put a little bit of paper and uh, you don't wanna wound it up too tightly. We're just gonna throw some leaves in there, a few of these pine cones, and we'll have a little mushroom. <laughs> then we'll just put some of the smaller sticks right in the top. And we really wanna kinda of get this down into the stove. Now I'm gonna lift the door up and I'm going to light this. This is actually Fierce Fire from Ingle Creek Outdoors. And here we're just lighting. 
right here getting this paper started. Now I have this door open right now just to get this flame and the fire really going. But uh, once it gets going like this and that fire starts to really catch on, you just drop this door down. And it's really important to, to lower this door. And it's a really unique feature. Some doors are on the side uh, and you can't close them. And so with this hinge design, it allows for you to close this door. And then we want to add our fuel. We can raise it up and of course, Again, you'll probably want to do it either this way or right here and just bring that up. And then we can place our fuel in. Now this is definitely a serious fire. And once you get it started, you can go ahead and put your pot on here. Uh, you'll notice that there's not a lot of smoke. Uh, this is for the outside, for the outdoors. Uh, what this is going to do is really get those flames and lick the bottom of the pot. So it makes it really fast to get this water again to a bowl or if you're going to cook or whatever. A couple of important things to note uh, when it comes to these kind of stoves is that it needs to be continually fed. This is not a stove you're going to get started and then just be able to walk away. Uh, it definitely requires a little bit of attention but it will burn for a good while. And again just close that down it just makes it much more efficient. Now I've got it on this low piece of wood uh, but this was really designed to be able to get it up off the ground uh, onto a table, something like that. So uh, this is just the way I have it set up for the demonstration, but that's one of the things about this cool bottom. Because I can touch this bottom and it's very slightly warm. Uh, the sides, they're still super cool right now at least. This is not what I would consider a bug out stove. It's definitely for something at home, but you can pack this out. It weighs 12 and a half pounds, so it's not really that heavy. There are some rocket stoves that weigh 25 plus. And so this really gives you a good option. Uh, you can use these handles to pick this stove up even when it's hot. Now, not necessarily when it's flaming, uh, but when it is hot, if you need to get out of the area, you can go ahead and take it and move it. Uh, but this is also great for canning because you can really get some heat uh, on that pot. Uh, the big difference is, is having to continually push this wood up into the stove. And so you're going to have to monitor it. Uh, Silver Fire does have some models that would be better at closing it down and getting the fuel in there and it burning over a longer period. But uh, this would still be a great option. You can see the sticks, just kind of keep them pushed up through there. And we'll just put some more. The ventilation system on this thing is just excellent. I mean, it's like a standard wood stove in your home the way this thing is built and close it up yeah that door's not hot uh, sometimes the flames can come back down and kind of lick the the little door and it makes it hot so you just want to be careful with that we're already coming to a boil right here so um, we're in good shape it doesn't take long I've seen a number of people that have boiled two gallons of water easily uh, with just the amount of wood that we've put in uh, you saw the little stack of wood. I haven't added anything to it yet. I have gotten a few more sticks together, but uh, I think we're going to be able to reach boiling point with no problem. Here to give you an idea of what it's looking like. And then here at the top, you can see the fire. I mean, it's directly on that pot. It can't help but boil. And as you see, we're boiling. I mean, a rolling boil. Guys, I'm telling you, this is just such an efficient way. And I have not added any sticks. I gathered a few more, but we used what we had. That's it. That's beautiful. Now I just need a little pasta. <laughs> now, Silver Fire also offers a number of different pots and things that you can do, even a wok. Uh, you can even put a, a smoker on top of this. I mean, there's so many different options to be able to use this. And uh, you can go to the Silver Fire website. I'll have it down in the description below. Okay, we've taken the pot off. There's a little bit of ash around. You can clean that up. Uh, you can see down into the chamber, uh, there is some 
still glowing embers. We're going to let that burn down and we're going to see what kind of ash we get. You can see in the bottom the ash left. We're going to dump this out and kind of take a look at it, but it's pretty minimal. Let's go ahead and dump it out right here. I mean, that is pretty fine. Uh, wow, it's all fine. Look at that. This just means that it's very efficient burning. Uh, those little, look like they were sticks in the bottom, but it was just ash. Definitely um, burns away as much of the material, and uh, I, I'm pretty impressed with that. Your sure feeding tray fits right in here, closes down. Yeah, most of this soot and ash comes right off. Um, probably want to wipe that down. The outside still looks great. Uh, of course, the feeding tray, you'll want to wipe it down, maybe kind of clean out a little bit inside, but... Overall, it's just so clean burning um, that uh, there's just not going to be a lot of cleanup. Now, the Silver Fire Survival Stove runs $179 on the Silver Fire website. I'll have a link down below in the description. Guys, overall, I've been very impressed with the whole experience. Just the quality construction is nice. Um, the cast iron top, the, uh, the door that comes down and really makes it very efficient. Uh, the heat transfer is great, and there's not a lot of heat on the outside. Uh, looks nice. Uh, I think this is going to be a very durable stove. As far as cons go, you know, I really don't see any cons. Uh, it is $179, but a lot of these rocket stoves that are actually not as well built are, you know, $250, $225. Check out the Silver Fire. I think you'll be impressed with it. I know I am, and uh, I'll be using this quite a bit. And I want to give a big thanks to USNER Doc. David and I are good friends. He does some incredible medical kits. Uh, you can check out his channel. I'll have the link to his channel right above. But um, he's the one that actually had the guys at Silver Fire to send this to me. And uh, I really appreciate, you know, good friends like David and Beth. And guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. Uh, it's one of the best resources on the web. Many uh, world famous contributors. I upload one video a week that is exclusive to the Survival Dispatch Insider. I have a link down below in the description. Now I want to thank Silver Fire for sending the survival stove uh, for this test. Uh, this is a great addition, whether you're a prepper, whether you like just to cook outdoors at times. Uh, and even if in a natural disaster where the power's down, this is a great way to be able to cook. And, you know, it just makes it a very handy, easy way to do it. Uh, you're not looking for a lot of different material. It's just the biomass, just things that are out in the yard. And uh, you can use it for this little stove. Very efficient. This video was also made possible by the Sportsman's Guide. Uh, if you use Such at checkout, you get $20 off any purchase, $100 or more. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now we can start putting our sticks. Just like you would at a at home if you have a very using Such 00. Oh, I don't know if that's it or not.